be the best, the best, the best, the best. Hi, I'm Robert with Best Air Conditioning Plumbing Repair. One of the most common service calls that we get that can be completely avoided with a little bit of know-how is a homeowner calling in saying, I just installed a new thermostat and now my AC unit's not working. Now, this can happen for several reasons. You didn't wire the thermostat correctly. You didn't program the thermostat correctly or you skipped a very important part of the installation process. So what I'm gonna be doing today is showing you exactly how to install a thermostat in your home. Choosing the right thermostat. Before the installation, you will need to determine the type of thermostat that's right for you in your home. There are four different types of thermostats. The non-programmable thermostat. Easy to use, simple, set it and forget it. The programmable thermostat. A programmable thermostat is just that. It allows you to pre-program the temperatures and times so it automatically adjusts based on your preferences. The Wi-Fi thermostat. Allows you to view and adjust the temperature from your smartphone. These thermostats are typically programmable as well. The smart thermostat. The smart thermostat is the best of the best. It takes the Wi-Fi thermostat, but learns your heating and cooling behaviors to optimize comfort and efficiency. You can also manage it from other smart devices. Installation. Before we get started, let's make sure we have the proper tools to get the job done. You'll need a screwdriver set, a drill, drill bits, wire cutters, a pen or marker, a level, and a thermostat of choice. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to install a programmable thermostat. But don't worry, most of these steps are going to be the same for any thermostat. Step one, turn off the power to your HVAC system at the electrical panel. The breaker is going to be labeled AC or FAU. Turn off both if you have them. If your unit is on the roof, you may only have one breaker for your system. This step is usually skipped and can cause problems within the HVAC system. Step two, remove the faceplate and take a photo of the wires. We will use this as reference when installing the new thermostat. Some thermostat kits come with stickers that you can put on each wire indicating which terminal they were originally connected to. As you see, the red wire is connected to R, the yellow wire is connected to Y, so on and so forth. Step three, unscrew the wires from their terminals and make sure the wires don't slide back into the wall. Step four, now we are ready to remove the base plate. Use your screwdriver to remove the screws mounting it to the wall. Step five, Reinstall the new base plate. You may be able to install the new base plate using the existing holes. If the holes don't line up, you will now need to use your drill and drill out new holes and use the appropriate mounting hardware. Tip, you can use a level to ensure it's level and tighten all the mounting screws. Step six, now refer back to the picture we took of the wires and reinstall the wires in the correct terminals and tighten the screws if necessary. Some smart thermostats, you may just need to slide the wires into place. Step seven, if batteries are required, install the batteries and mount the thermostat faceplate by snapping it into the base. Step eight, restore power to your HVAC unit at the electrical panel. Step nine, some thermostats have to be set up. So follow the in installation instructions or quick start guide to set up properly. Step 10, now you are all done. Congratulations on installing your brand new thermostat. And if things don't go according to plan and you have a problem with your plumbing or air, call Best Air Conditioning Plumbing Repair.